a very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener. I am Yemi Gracevan Aduluju, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Salmon UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. For our meditation and discussion, let's consider the book of Psalm, chapter 90, verse 14, and the book of the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verse 23. Psalm 90, verse 14, the Bible says, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. The year 2024 is again gradually going. The year started just like yesterday, and today is the 26th day of the month of February, the last week of February to be precise. February is almost gone again, but the promise of God is that it will cause the former and the latter rain to fall for you. In Joel chapter 2 verse 23, the Bible says, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. In one month, God said, I'm going to compound the former and the latter rain. I will bring them together upon you in the first month, in the same month. In the same month, there will be a compounding of the blessings of God, a shaking together, a press down, shaking together blessings of God upon your life. This has to happen because God has promised to give you both the latter and the former rain in the same month. He will compound them to you in order to satisfy you early. And don't forget, the year again is going. February it was almost winding to a close. And before you say Jack Robinson, the first quarter of the year is ended. And so where is the promise of early satisfaction? God wants to satisfy you early. But if God must satisfy you early, there must be openings. And that is why every first working day of the week, the first working day of Monday, we always pray that heavens upon your, you and upon your activities will be opened. And so for you to obtain the promise of the former and the latter rain compounded in the same month, for you to receive the promise of early satisfaction, for you to be satisfied early with the mercy of God so that you can rejoice all your day, so that you can spend the days of this year in rejoicing and celebrating. So you can celebrate because of the goodness of the Lord upon your life. So God has to meet with you early. He has to satisfy you early. And how will this happen? It will happen when heaven is opened upon you. And that's why I am praying that the heavens over you, over your life and your destiny will be opened in the name of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, heaven opened upon the ministry of Jesus. And for this reason, he succeeded, he excelled in ministry. Heaven will open upon you. In Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1, Ezekiel said, I was among the captives by the river of Cheba, and then I saw the heavens open, and then the vi I saw the visions of God. The heavens were opened on me, although I was among the captives, but yet heavens open. I saw heaven open, and then I saw visions of God. No matter the situation that has taken you captive, your own heaven will open. And when heaven opens upon you, and you are able to see, then you are stepping out of that captivity, the financial captivity, the economic captivity, whatever captivity it, it is, you are stepping out of that captivity because heaven upon you will open. So I command heavens to open upon you this week and always in the name of Jesus. Not only must your heaven be open, your gate must be opened. Your gate must be open in Isaiah chapter 45 and in verse number 1. The word of God says, God was making a promise, I am going to cause your gate to open. So it is my prayers that your gate will be divinely opened in the precious name of Jesus. And this gate will not be closed by day or by night in the name of Jesus. It will, God will open the, before you the two lift gates and these gates shall not be shut. Your gate must be opened. If your gate is not opened, the fulfillment of this promise will be remote 
It will be difficult to see any fulfillment or satisfaction. It will be difficult to experience the reign of God that he has promised you. So your gate must be open. Also, your door must be open. Your door must open. open. There is a door that leads to wherever you are going in life and in destiny. A door leads to wherever we are going. Anywhere you desire to get to in life, there is a door that leads to that place. There is a door that leads to greatness until your door is opened. The struggle continues. So I pray that the door will open for you this week in the name of Jesus. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 2, Paul, the apostle said, Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. If that door had not been opened, Paul wouldn't have been able to preach. Or rather, even if he preached, there wouldn't have been any response or result. A man labors in vain if a door or the door is not opened for him. Your door will open in the precious name of Jesus. Apart from the door being opened, the hand of God must be open to you to experience the fulfillment of early satisfaction, the promise of early satisfaction, the promise of the, the latter, the former and the latter rain together. The hand of God must be opened unto you. In, Isaiah, in, in Psalm 145, verse number 16, the Bible says, God opened his hand and satisfied the desires of all living things. May God open his hand to you and satisfy your desires. The hands of God must be open. Also, the hands of men must open to you. If you are going to enjoy the blessings of, of any satisfaction, men must open their hands to you. In other words, you must enjoy the favor of God and the favor of men. Men's hand must be opened unto you. And your eyes must also be opened. If you are going to see those things that God has promised you, those things that God has made yours. I therefore want to pray for you this Monday morning. And i like your faith to be released as I do the praying, the declaration upon your life and upon your destiny this week and always. I am praying for you that the promise of God, all the promises of God for you will find practical fulfillment and expression in the precious name of Jesus. God has said he will satisfy you early. And I pray we are still in the early part of the year, the early season of the year. I pray that the Lord will satisfy you early. And I pray that the remaining days of this year, you will have gladness and rejoicing because of the satisfaction of God in the name of Jesus. The promise of the latter, the promise of the former and the latter rain will come to pass upon you before this month is over. I pray that over your life, over your destiny, over your family, over your business and ministry, that the heavens will be opened. I pray that your gates will be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your gates will not be shut. I pray that your doors will be opened. God will cause major doors to open for you this week. Doors, opportunities, blessings, favor will come your way this week. In the name of Jesus, doors of greatness will open for you. Doors of employment, doors of marriage, doors of fruitfulness will open. Doors of progress will open for you this week. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will open his hands unto you and satisfy the desires of your heart. God's hand will be open to you in the name of Jesus. I declare that men will open their hands to you this week. You will enjoy the favor of God and the favor of men. Wherever you turn to this week, men will go out of their ways to favor you in the precious name of Jesus. And I pray that your eyes will be opened to identify those things that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of any man, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed those things to us by his spirit. I pray that by the spirit of God, the things that God has prepared for you will be revealed to you. You will not be blind. You will see where to go. You will know where to go. You will know what to do. You will know what door to knock. And there will be answers for you. This week shall be a great week for you. And God's name will be honored and be glorified. Your operations will be under open heavens. Your things will not be hard this week. Your things will not be tough. Your things will not be difficult. As the month of February ends this week, God will put an end to troubles and challenges and evil and adversity in your life. 
and in our nation. God will make a way of escape for us in this political, economic, and social quagmire that we have found ourselves as a nation. The Lord will make a way of escape so we can spend our days in gladness and in rejoicing in the name of Jesus. I declare this in the name that is above all names and the God of heaven will make it happen. So shall it be in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. I like you to be expectant this week. Don't forget the words of the 18th century poet Alexander Pope. He said, blessed is he who expects nothing, for he shall never be disappointed. If you expect nothing, you will experience nothing. You will not be disappointed. And if you expect something, your expectations will not be cut short, will not be cut off. So expect something great this week and God will make great things happen for you in the precious name of Jesus. Support Daily Impact with Grace Man. Support with your prayers. Pray for this program. Support also by forwarding this message and sharing the link with your contacts. You can also support with your financial donation. Your giving should be sent to the Zenith Bank account number 12161006456. The account name is Daily Impact with Grace Man. The Lord bless you as you do. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on other social media platforms. My handle on all platforms is at Yemi Grace Man. Until I come your way again tomorrow, for another exciting edition of our program, I am Jeremy Grisman at Duluju, wishing you a very fruitful and prosperous new week. The Lord bless you.